We were raised that family is the most important thing you you be around for family, you look after family, you be there for them. Family's where you belong, it's it's what gives you purpose. And to be there for the people that you love, who love you. It's the most important thing. That's how we were raised anyway. Since the age of 15, 16, I knew something was wrong. Yeah, Gary was quite young when he was diagnosed, yes. Living here, there was a lovely dynamic with him and my grandmother. And while he was here, she looked after him in many, many ways. Um, I think one of the most important was companionship. It's actually a little bit of a blur that time when we talked about dad moving away. So there was one time when he fell from his chair and he was unable to get up. He was far too heavy for her to lift. She would have been mid eighties and she was really distressed. And so dad stayed on the floor and I said to dad, it's really not okay. And he said, well, I wasn't going any further. So it's okay. And it just really isn't okay. And uh, so then he had to go into a home. So he went down to Brisbane then and went into a home down in Brisbane. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. It's terribly lonely though, you know, because I, you have no one to talk to. At the moment, my dad lives three hours from my grandmother and four hours from my brother, and we are his main supports. It's hard. Nana really misses dad, and when he does come up, she lights up. You can see it in her face. Just a sense of family. It's not, not alone anymore. If he was on the Sunshine Coast, he would be able to get in a maxi taxi in his wheelchair and come here. There's a lift here, he can still come here. He would be able to visit here when he wanted. My grandmother could go to him. My dad also has a brother nearby here. I think the, the biggest thing for me is that he would be a part of the grandchildren's lives. The kids are little at the moment. They're all four and five and they see him a couple of times a year and then only for a couple of hours. So if he lived closer, the opportunity for him to know us and know our lives and know the grandkids for him to be around grandma, she's 90 now, it would be priceless. We have been praying that a place would be available to dad closer to here for a long time, but if he could be closer, if he could be closer, the pieces would fall into place. As a father myself, I know how hard it is when your children want something or need something and you're not there to help. It's, it hurts. I know what dad will be going through when he's away from us and we've called up or he's called us. I have that, that understanding of that pain that will be causing him because he can't be here with us. There's only one thing I do miss living down here, and that is to be closer to my family. Dad doesn't have a choice about having MS. He doesn't have a choice about everything that's been taken from him because he has MS, but he should have a choice about where he lives, and he shouldn't have to live so far from the people that love him. There's no cure for MS, but there's a cure for living so far away. MS takes a lot from Queenslanders like Gary, but a desperate shortage of appropriate accommodation across the state is taking so much more. But MS Queensland has a plan to build specially designed independent living apartments that'll give people like Gary back their independence 
their dignity, their community and their relationships. There's only one thing missing. You. Please, will you be part of the plan and help build a better life for Queenslanders like Gary?